Hey everyone, and welcome to our lecture on internal validity, external validity, and biases. In this lecture, I'm going to be focusing on the basics related to um, these concepts. So let's start with internal validity. So internal validity is basically, what is your confidence in the accuracy or truth of the results that were obtained in the present study? Basically, internal validity is, do we actually believe the results that we obtained? And there are three main threats to internal validity. The first is selection bias, which is when the sample under study is not representative of the true population of interest. So examples of this include the volunteer bias and attrition bias, which are basically that patients who volunteer for a study may not be representative of the normal population. They may be more interested in health. They may have higher health literacy, et cetera. And attrition bias is that patients who drop out of a study may differ from the underlying study cohort, such as they may be more sick, they may have lower health literacy. The second threat to internal validity is measurement bias. So this is when inaccurate measurement of factors such as the exposure, the outcome, confounding variables, leads to an inaccurate analysis because you're not actually um, getting an accurate measurement of these things that you're kind of studying and comparing. So examples of this include the observer bias and recall bias, with the observer bias being um, you know, if study researchers aren't blinded to who got which treatment, um, their determinations of the outcome may differ because they want a certain result. And the recall bias being that if we ask patients to recall an exposure from years ago, um, that may not be accurate. Um, the third type of bias or the third threat to internal validity is confounding, which is where a third variable is associated with both the exposure and the outcome, but not along the causal pathway and leads to an apparent association. So this is often depicted um, using this diagram in the bottom left where we see the confounder is associated with both the exposure and the outcome, but not along this causal pathway. You know, and the classic example of this is um, that um, if a study is conducted to look at the association between having a lighter and lung cancer, um, there is an association where those who have lighters in their pockets are more likely to develop lung cancer. But it's obvious that an important confounding variable is smoking, because patients who smoke are more likely to have lighters in their pocket and, they're, and also are more likely to develop lung cancer. And therefore, this apparent association between lighters and lung cancer might be confounded by smoking status. I get into more detail about each of these biases in the next set of videos. So we've touched on internal validity. Now let's move to external validity which another word for external validity is generalizability. And basically external validity is, um, you know, what is our ability to apply these study results to a wide variety of populations or to other populations of interest? And one really key idea is that results can have internal validity. You know, they can be accurate for the study population um, that was observed, but could definitely lack external validity meaning they may not be applicable to other populations. So it's true within the study under study, um, but not true when we apply it to other populations. There are really two main threats to external validity. The first is that the study was conducted in a special population. You know, maybe it was conducted um, among physicians who may have higher health literacy, maybe more or less likely to adhere to study protocols, or it could be a single center analysis, um, potentially in you know, one country that may not be applicable to other countries. The second threat to external validity is if a special or limited treatment is used. So for example, if a study is done that shows CAR T cell therapy leads to much improved cancer survival with some, you know, special type of um, um, cancer, like it may be accurate in that study and it truly might um, lead to improved survival for that form of cancer but there may be a lack of external generalizability or external validity because not everyone can access CAR T cell therapy and therefore those results may not be applicable to you know, a wide variety of populations who may not be able to access that treatment. You know, another example is like these molecular imaging studies, which um, you know, can help to detect disease, but again, are not widely used and therefore are concentrated in large academic centers, which may not represent um, all of health delivery, um, you know, in our country and in, in many countries across the world. So all in all, kind of a quick summary, 
internal validity is saying, what is our confidence in the truth of this study? Are our study results actually true? And external validity is, can our study results be applied to other populations other than the one that we use in this current study? As usual, I have a few questions after this lecture to help see whether you um, understood the material and can apply it in a way that you'll see it on the MBME exam. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and good luck.